Right, we turn our attention to the men now. And this is the nine men in the final. That's because of draws in qualifying and semi-finals has led us to this place. So we get to see nine athletes, which is all good. That's the route. Similar to the women's, it winds across the wall, starts left, goes all the way right, goes left, and then ends in the middle. Purple, yellow, and purple sections, so you get an idea of where we are on the route. Starts at the bottom, big moves and little risk. <laughs> Fair enough. Although big moves usually mean big risk, but we'll see. Fair enough. Dynamic Gastons, that sounds awful, doesn't it? I guess that's the big purple volumes down low, oh. jumping between those. And then a risky and precision section, small coordination. It's quite a big coordination going on. There's a big gap there. And then the top holes. Yeah, there's a lot to play for, for sure. Right, Zento Murashita will be out first for the men. So, uh, yeah, first real big senior competition. He was eighth in Vila in 2021. So I think one of those athletes who's kind of been in and out of the Japanese team a little bit. You know, he's 20, so he's not super young. So maybe, you know, was selected and then battled to get in. Yeah. Like we said before, it's really hard to get selected in Japan. It's hard for the Austrian team. I mean, you're sitting next to me in an Austrian jersey. Like, phew, that's that's no easy team to get into either. They are worse. <laughs> you're doing of, yourself of bigger teams. <laughs> <laughs> Still. All right, so Murashita on five. First time we get to see this route. Out towards these sort of pinches. Big moves, little risk. I'll have to wait and see on that one. Here's one of those big moves. Cuts loose. Pretty simple, though. But it's nice. I think these holes are brand new. They have so good friction. Like, all the holes in qualies already. Even the big pinches. Is skin as much of a problem as it is in boulder? No, definitely not. Bouldering is way worse for your skin. Like, between rounds, you might already be bleeding after qualifications, and then you have two more rounds. And I've never bled through in a lead route huh. or in a lead comp, and I don't think it happens a lot. Okay, so f like big friction holes then are, are a real advantage if f for the athletes. If yeah, they have them. I mean you see people like warming up with tape on their fingertips. You wanna don't use up your skin there, but usually you lose your skin if you like fall off things, and you will fall off only four times in a lead <laughs> comp. <laughs> you can't fall off more often. <laughs> Yeah, true. Whereas if you're in a bold round, you might do it over and over again. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way of thinking about things. Well, he's on hold 15, easily through the purples, cruising at the moment. I think it's just a real sighter. And then some blocked pinches to come. A toe hook down on the left on that black volume. And he nails the crimp with the left hand and wadges in the foot. And it's obviously been blocked to prevent the heel there on the right. Yes, but maybe you can squeeze it in a bit. Like like a toe jam a bit. Yeah, he's kind of doing it, isn't he? He's kind of pressing it Trying, in. Yeah. All right, moves over to the left. He's got the toe in underneath now. I think yes, he has. Upgrades the hand, slides it through. That quick draw is massive. <laughs> it's like the longest one I think I've ever seen. Big toe hook. Leans back on the toes. He just looks so calm. You can't see what is a hard move with him. Yeah, crazy. I mean, just think he hasn't been a regular in the Japanese team. It's just... <laughs> it's Who else is to come? I know, exactly. Every time I see a new member of Team Japan, I'm just like, okay, well, another one to learn. Because they are so, so good. But that is a slip there. And he slightly rushed, I think, that, that move. Yeah. That's the first of the real hard moves the men have, is that sequence. All right, next up, Shionomata will come out. So, Shionomata will begin things. The officials are ready. That's a spotter there, just to make sure if he hits the ground, he's protected early on. Reaches up towards a big sloper, flicks the feet over, and his journey begins on this finals route. Ooh, a little bit of a moment there. He sort of shook his head as he bumped the hand right. Still hasn't clipped the first draw. Oh, yes, good spot. But there are spotters for every route. Yes, but what are they going to do? 
I mean, they get it. Like, it always makes me laugh. Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of usually a spot that kind of directs you onto a mat. I, I'd love to see them catch a falling athlete. Yeah, you would think a mat would be more useful. <laughs> you would. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, not expecting. The root setters want to maybe unsettle but not make you uh, fall off down low. So he reaches up high to make that clip. Looks like he's not 100% settled yet. Just kind of figuring things out down low. Ooh, looks to adjust that heel. Double crimps coming up. Ooh, Almost in a split. Yeah, it's great flexibility shown from him then. But most of the Japanese athletes have great flexibility. Yeah, is that something you see them working on a lot in isolation? Yeah, you see them warming up, stretching and... I mean, it's not uncommon in the World C Cup circuit. I guess most of the women can do a split. Is that the case, really? So it's like that's the sort of level you might have to have for Yeah, if most people are really flexible. How's your splits game? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change topic. Let's move on from that one. Fair enough. <laughs> so she on a matter. Into the yellows and blacks here. He's got that low left here. Ooh, he's just popping feet all over the shot here. What is he doing now? This oh, is, that's far away from that him. That is the wrong thing, but he's somehow... No, he's in real trouble right now. He needs to rethink this. What was he thinking on that? Maybe he thought he was taller than he was. <laughs> yeah, well, we talked about range earlier on. I mean, I guess that's it. But he uses it now with his hand to get his heel in. Oh, hey, why not? I mean, he has worked it out, but that will have burnt a lot of power. Yeah, for sure. And it's not nice to clip with the quick draw behind yourself. No, it's swinging, isn't it? This is a nightmare sequence for him. He still can't get it in. Fishes for it again and again. He's got a smile. I mean, fair <laughs> play, but... Ah. Oh. That's also once the quick draw is swinging around, it's even harder to catch it. He's in trouble again. Look, he's got a really weird pinch. Yeah, <laughs> He's <laughs> just climbed his way into a nightmare situation. Oh, you got a feel for him. Yeah, a couple of bad decisions. And then I think he was just too tired. And of course, for the OQS, it's back in Shanghai. So a lot of people have been using it as a test run. You know, they've been coming here, trying to work out how... I mean, I think I read on Stasha's uh, Instagram that she was saying how, you know, she's learned things from this and she'll do it better next time. And for a lot of them, that's what it's all about. But it's still a World Cup. You still want to win it. It's not just a test run. So Han is through. And you'd expect him to climb fairly quickly. Yeah. Maybe run before the pump. Yes. Try to <laughs> yeah, escape that pump. So cruising through on the pinches here now. Reaches up easily into the clip. Getting the rope a little twisted around his leg, sorted it out, no real drama. The Belgians also visited Innsbruck a few times, preparing for the World Cups. Do you get lots of messages when teams are in town, kind of wanting to do training sessions and stuff, or do they just arrive undercover? That's more if like individual athletes come and they have no one to train with, mm -hmm. then they would ask us. But if they're coming with their team, then usually not. Yeah, good point. So Hannes launches, as we've seen him done in bouldering comp so many times. He wants a knee bar in there. That's a long way, but it does kind of work. Yeah, I think he doesn't get too much out of it. Maybe if he stacks the knees. Oh, yes, look at that. So he's standing on his own foot to get a little bit more reach with the knee bar, but it doesn't work, does it? Nah. Oh, that's better, but I think he's burned more energy getting into it. That's always the thing. If you see it from below, it's like, do you try or not? Because if it doesn't work, yeah, like you said, you spend a lot of energy for nothing. Yeah, and he's kind of snatching at holds here and starting to lose his feet. Like, uh. Oh, and wrapping the rope. It was described to me by Helen uh, last night as pump brain, which I quite liked. Yeah. It stops working at some point. Yeah. But he did the same method as like Shion, and he made it work. Maybe he's a bit taller, got it in more easily. Yeah, good spot. So maybe they read that together. It just worked for his height better. Yeah, so this is where Shion really got it all wrong, but 
Hannes is looking more composed and now I think he'll enjoy this moment to shake out and need it I think provisional podium at the moment in 19th it's a long way this Ricci move swings over feet on the little crimps it's also a hard clip yeah, and he made it look pretty easy, so he did well. Now, this is the move, isn't it? He has oh, a he looks pumped. Oh, he does. Look at those elbows going up on the left hand. Oh. He's throwing a high foot. He couldn't, he couldn't catch it. No go for Hannes. He doesn't know quite what's going on. Well, that sequence is tricky for our top three so far. He missed it the first time. A lot of core required. Yeah, three gold, one silver, one bronze. Sasha Lehman more than capable of standing on the podium here tonight. All right, an asset to the Swiss team. Let's see what Sasha can do tonight. Pressing starting position, palms down where many have pressed before. It's right another foot. parallel to our route yesterday, the start. Yes, true. They, that happens quite often in World Cups, I feel. That, yes. Like they sort of s change the styles between semis and finals. I think uh, sometimes they have just elements they want to build into the competition. And maybe they don't want to put it into the same round for both categories. And then it ends up like this. Yeah, and it's kind of... I quite like it when it happens. At least, I mean, my co-commentators know what, what the kind of moves are, at least the feeling of the moves. There hasn't been anything else really exciting about these routes. Like, there were no jumps for us or anything. No coordination. Do you prefer it like that, or do you like those wild moves in there? It's more comfortable to not have them in there. But they can be quite good separators. Mm -hmm. Like last year in VR, we had a really hard jump in one of the quali routes. And if you're there and you do it, you kind of know you're in semis. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And, you know, there should be an element for the brave, I think, as well in these comps. You know, the sort of old school routes where it was just endurance, grinding your way through, you know, that's good for the athletes, I think. Maybe less good for, for the show of the whole thing. But I think it can go too far sometimes as yeah. well. But yeah, it's good to test the commitment because usually it's easier or only possible if you just commit fully and do it. Yeah, I agree. Well, you guys can have that debate if you're watching as well, if you're comp experts. And if you're not, well, welcome to our sport. It's brilliant. <laughs> You've been missing out all this time. And we have Matteo Pozzi here in the commentary box and we are watching Sasha Lehman, fourth athlete out and doing well. He's way more comfortable on that knee. Yeah, bar. he got it in better. Is he Seem stacking it on his own hand? Or is not that maybe sure. I think it's below. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he's lucky he to remove it. Wouldn't be able to release it otherwise. No. <laughs> Just looked like for a moment it was. Yeah, so obviously Hannes, you know, there's no real difference in height. In fact, Hannes is a bit taller, so he yeah. should have found it easier. Sasha is not at all. Maybe that's where the experience comes in, you know. Sasha knows it. It's a lot about the foot position. And I think it's a skill we have to learn, we have to practice it. Agreed. I and mean, we see it in so many competitions. Yeah. And if you can really use it well, get so much out of it. Well, Sasha, nice with the toe hook into the sloper now, looking comfortable. Crux to come, or low crux certainly to come. Choosing not to rest, maybe because he rested well enough before. Yeah, chalk flying all over the place in this one. He'll have an awareness that there's a low crux because of how quickly he's come out onto the uh, onto the lead wall oh that's powerful oh and a nasty crimp sorry nasty clip out towards the crimp locks it off thumb over the top tries to find a toe in the jam doesn't really work for him and he slides off from the uh. heel tried to get the toe jamming it didn't work no. got a heel Four athletes all falling around the 24 mark. Tai Sehama strolls out. This man will fight to the very end. Also, the men, I think they had observation to get up with the women. So it's been some time since they have seen their roots. Yeah. Like the women came out straight afterwards. And he might to remember again what is coming up. That's a good point. So he took his time. We've got about 40 seconds. You can't really get disqualified. I mean, technically you can, I think. But they'll hustle you onto the wall before that happens. I guess worst thing would be a yellow card if yeah. you're just not starting. 
So, Taisai Homer. Underway. Fairly low score at the moment. You won't know. 24 plus on the leaderboard at the moment. But it's also, they have really long moves, uh, fast stretched out. And then you don't make that many moves to get high up on the wall. Like for the women at the same height, I'm sure you would have 10 moves more. Because they had a lot of smaller moves, smaller holds. Yeah, it's very true. Ooh, big unwind there. Bump, bump with the hands. Little adjustments here, outright. Ooh. Tugs up the rope. Really shouldery, that sequence. And he immediately locks in the knee bar. Yeah, it looks like he gets something out of it. Not as relaxed as Sasha. Moves on rather quickly. Yeah, Sasha was there for quite a long time, wasn't he? Yeah, he chose to rest there and then didn't use the big yellow hold to rest. All right, flicks the hands out. And we've seen a few different methods through here. What's Tyso Hummer going to use? He has a toe underneath, stretches all the way down to get another toe in on the left, trusts that toe rubber, hits the right hand, unwinds, and now he'll shake. That was nicely done. Yeah, he got like the toe on the big yellow one to put another toe in. Looked confident. Yeah, transitioning between toe hooks must just feel awesome. <laughs> All right, pinches to come and a big move as Taisei shakes out. That first crux is beckoning, though. We're waiting to see, really, the first, second, third of this wall that Taisei is looking very composed as he drops through. Chooses not to clip from the yellow one. Maybe it's better from the black one. I think it looks better because that pinch is nasty when you do it. Yeah, it looked really hard for the other guys. All right, hits the crimp. Ooh. Easily hits the foothold. Yeah, and he's looking Shaking fine. out. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Well, we will see the next part of this wall as he climbs down. That was strong. We saw how, you know, how hard Hannes had to work to get his feet up, but Tyson just straight away hit it. But he's got to trust a pretty bad heel to rock up. He'll be happy to turn it into a tote. It's a far move again. Oh. He's read this really well, though. Right hand up. He's got a crimp and a pinch now. Oh, these heels are so nasty. <laughs> oh, creeps through into the cross. Cuts loose for a sec. Now, this is a big throw over the lip of the wall. He might be in a bit of trouble here, but you'd never know with Taisai Homa. And these boomerangs are so bad. And it's not a slab. Although we say it's the head wall is a slab, it's not. No, he's a bit overhanging, isn't it? It's still steep. Oh, he's got to commit to that toe. Hits the second boomerang. Now he's got to transition the feet over to the right. He does. That's strong stuff. He has a little look at what he's going for next. It's a long way. He <laughs> hits it in a drag. <laughs> what a performance from Tyso Homer. This is and a minute 40 on the clock. That's a coordination, right? Jumping over there. Yeah, here we go. Little coordination. Uh, uh, not happening for him this time, but way out in front on 36. That's going to take some beating. Didn't look confident on that last move on the jump. So Max gets the nod from the b layers and the judges. He's got a slightly different hairstyle, as you can see there. Let's see what Max can do. All that hard work paying off for him as he hits the final. He will also be looking forward to the OKS. will be his main event of the season. Yes, he will be. little flick of the hand there. That's one of those moves just built to unsettle, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely not hard. They all have no problems with it. You just have to do it. 
not think about it too much. Yeah, it's easier said than done when you're on that stage with this many people watching. All right, so Max underneath the big black volume. 36 plus is where he's aiming for. He won't know that. But he will know that Tysai Helmer got pretty far. I thought for a moment he was just going to jump for the next one. Yeah, it's, I think he might have thought about it for a sec. He had it in mind, but yeah, decided... He remembered he was on a rope <laughs> yeah, and exactly. decided otherwise. Yeah. He's got a bit of a shake going on with his hands. Just shows how hard he's trying. That left hand has been on that crimp a long, long time. And he does shake it out a little bit as he flicks through. Shoulder move. He'll enjoy that. Gets the feet back on. I think Hannes just overthought that knee bar. Yeah, I don't know. Because apart from him, everyone seems to make it work. So Max breathing. Four minutes on the clock. Knee bar locked in. Just a slight shudder in his limbs showing how hard he's working. Big move up. This is where he can start to go wrong, though. He's got to be careful. Big Just cut cuts lift. loose. He doesn't look too relaxed. Maybe he can shake out here a bit more. Yeah, I think you're right. It's, it's just the way he's moving is a little bit stuttery. And here as well, as he moves those hands up, he's definitely fighting. Now he also has to make this weird clip behind the head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's so much further than it looks on camera as well. It's right back there. Yeah, and it just takes a really long time now to get a clip in and you don't have a good hold in your hand. It tires you out a lot. All right, here he goes, and he's got another nasty one. He's going to clip off that pinch as well. But he has a good drop knee in. Oh, he's biting the quick draw to get it in. <laughs> I think he held it with his mouth and put the, draw, the rope in. I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, but now he looks in problem. Yeah, he does, and he goes... Yeah, tricky route for Max, that one. This was the unwind, and you said just before he fell, you were like, he looks in trouble, and he yeah. was... Well, go give Mattia a follow on Instagram, please, if you can, and support her. I'm sure she will appreciate it. All right, shooter Tanaka reaches up. That's far for him, this I first move. It is, isn't it? He just had his fingertips yeah. on as well. All right, so up into the first clip. That's done after that real big stretch. And Taisai Homer very soon will be uh, guaranteed a podium place, but not yet. Up to the crimps. Shoulder moves here. Moving his way across. But the one thing to think about is comps have sort of moved on since 2021 in terms of setting. He will have done the Japanese cups. He will have had good setting there, I can imagine. Yeah, true. And the Japanese, you know, Japan generally attracts really good setters to come and test themselves as well. All right, heel in, pressing that toe against the wall. Bumps out right. Big move, but not too risky as we know. No one really struggling. I think Max looked the worst on this part. Yeah. That was a big swing, though. Locks in the knee bar, nice and easy. And looking relaxed out there on the wall. Compared to the women as well, time not so much a factor on this one. No, but it's usually the men are climbing so much faster. Also in semis, they were finished like six climbers before the women's semifinal. Like the whole men's semifinal was over in two, and f two hours, 15 minutes, which is really fast. Yeah, it was. It moted through. We've had three hour semi finals. Yeah, <laughs> 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 You've seen it. 
Nah, it's always good to see. Alright, shooter. Looking comfortable at the moment, but this is where things ramp up. Hits the pinches. And no problems that clip either, straight in. No, but like everyone who did it from the big yellow one looked comfortable doing it. But if you left it until later, they had some troubles. Yeah, it's just clip reading coming in. I think he's going to clip. No, he's not. He's going to clip for the black. So well read from him. Definitely the way to do that. And you can sort of use your arm to trap the Yeah, door. but now he has his hand behind the quick draw. Oh, yeah. He should have had it the other way around. He stretches out right hand. I mean, that right hand is getting pumped now. Suddenly he's in trouble, and he is in trouble as he falls. Just too short. Didn't quite get it. So, Taisei Homa guaranteed a medal now. Yeah, he caught it. Three fingers, two fingers, yeah. gone. Here comes Serato, and I'm so excited to see what kind of form Serato's in here because, as we said last year, unbeatable. So that's all the uh, that's all the prerequisites out of the way for Serato. We still would love to see him do well here. So up he goes. Less of a stretch than shit that did. Yeah, when Serato's on fire, he just flows. But he's one of those athletes I never know when he's going to fall off. You know, I keep saying like, oh, he's cruising, and then suddenly he'll go. Yeah. Just looks light and flowy, and yeah, at some point, always also he gets tired, I guess. <laughs> yes, he does. It just comes out of nowhere. So don't look away if you're watching at home. Did I say home on 36 plus? Murashita, who came out first, is still in silver. Heels in, cruising as we'd expect through the bottom moves, cuts loose, flicks his right foot onto a nice. Crimp reaches up to the black holds and rotates through. Nice and smooth so far. Feet first in this section. We haven't seen that. No, we haven't. He did it with no hesitation as well. Must have read it like this. I wonder if he goes back in for the knee bar. Yeah, he kind of is, isn't he? No, hasn't got it mm. yet. I think he hasn't seen it, maybe. Now he does. Now he does, yeah. Oh, he doesn't like it. A foot in a slightly different position, further in on the hold, which could make a difference. Right, so he hasn't used the knee bar. Interesting. I mean, I think it's a good decision. Instead of, like, Hannes trying to wrestle it in, you know, if it isn't working or he feels he doesn't need it, just move through. Yeah, he tried it, decided he didn't like it and put it out again. Yeah, right, left toe in, reaches underneath, jams that toe deeper. And as you said, way easier to clip off that. He looks comfortable in this position, yeah. Probably he's going to shake out a bit more here. So he's looking left. A couple of breaths, looking very composed out on the wall. Three minutes 50 on the clock, he's got plenty of time and he knows it. He might be looking at the scoreboard, actually. I think he did it also last year. I think he just wants to see where he's at and how far he has to go. Yeah, I mean, it's right there for them to see if they want to have a look, you know. It's a massive old scoreboard. Yeah, so why not? Yeah, I think this myth we have about no one really knowing where they are is a, is a slight myth. Clips off the pinch, though. little adjustment needed in order to drop into the crimp. But he still looks so fresh. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, had a little moment, though. Oh, he that's decides risky. Decides not to put the feet on the volume. Suddenly, serato has gone from looking relaxed and not so relaxed, but he has made the move work. Yeah, that wasn't ideal. When he got that toe hook in, you know, where Sasha popped the heel, I was yeah. worried. I think if you leave your feet behind, it would be hard to then release them. Yeah, agreed. Okay, little foot movement from Serato into the pinch now, high above his head. And hopefully he's calmed himself after that because that this is the most flustered I've seen him in a while. Now he does look a bit more tired, yes. And we know how bad those boomerangs are coming yeah. up. Yeah, and 
Taisei Homa had to fight so hard for every move now. Cuts loose again. Gets the feet back on the wall. Let's see if sorato has got something left in the tank. He might have got himself into some trouble here. He's struggling on that right hand. Very uh -huh. low. And yes, he does go. Taisei well, used the foothold, not the heel hook for this move. So maybe it was the wrong beater for Sorato. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Well, there we go. Sorato goes. So, Toby, last one out. Gold medal, bronze medal. No silvers, don't need them. Right, he's off the deck and underway. His dad yesterday told me he already feels like he moved to Innsbruck as well. They spend a lot of time to here <laughs> yeah, they in the do. winter. And they've got to be careful with Brexit days as well because it's hard, you know. You've got to make decisions on training. Yeah, Toby was in Japan training pre-season. Easy through here, as you'd expect. I think it's just a case of not getting too pumped down low. It's moving really quickly. Yeah, nice moves. Nice and confident. Hard parts to come. That's the knee bar. Serato, I wonder if that, not using the knee bar for Serato as well, that was a mistake from him. Yeah, I think he didn't read it during observation. All the others straight put it in and he had a look before. Same with Toby. Interesting. Doesn't use it at all, no. No. I mean, it kind of makes a sense that those two read it together. They do have a similar style. Yeah, not even looking at it is Toby. Well, I would have imagined Toby and Max reading it together. Mm. Also, the language barrier with the Japanese is not that easy to overcome sometimes. No, it's true. Although Serato's English is getting better and better. All right, high right heel for Toby Roberts. Great flexibility. We talked about the splits. He's doing it there. He didn't use the toke on the black one at all. No. Very different style from Toby Roberts. Doing it his own way. Pressing on the volume now with the right foot. Clips early on. Yeah, very Maybe early. Maybe a good decision. Yeah, I think so. And he's out of the way. Maybe, yeah, I was going to say maybe more awkward with the road, but not really. Still looks really fresh. All right, adjustments on that crimp. Doesn't put the thumb up next. Doesn't lock it off. Doesn't need to. Look at that Doesn't hand. swing the feet over. Oh, I'm not sure about that. It's hard to reach if you're like, crossing your arms. Oh, we know how he costly these things tired as suddenly. He does, doesn't he? That's better. He lost a lot of power here, I think. Yeah, I agree with you. So suddenly Toby's got a battle on his hands here. And that clip looks awkward as well. It was great to readjust like he did. Like, didn't have the pump rain in yet. Yeah. But now he does look like he's struggling. Yeah, a little bit. Wrestling. Tries to find that crimp. But gets the pinch. Yeah. Like we said, he's a good fighter. So maybe he can still... Pull it off. Yeah, we've seen him do some special things. He's in third at the moment. That's a big move. Just holds it. That toe is in, though. I'm not sure he can release it easily here. It does now. Gets the high heel. No, that's the move for Sarat. No, Sarat did one more move. Yeah, he's close, though, isn't he? 31. So bronze medal for him at the moment. This is the move. Does it okay, though? So, Toby, oh, look, they are terrible, those banana holes. You're right. Yeah, but now he's in the head wall. Now he can fight it out. Yeah, you said he doesn't let go at this point. See how much battle Toby's got in him. Crosses back through, shakes out once more. Has a little cheeky look at the clock. He's got plenty of time, two minutes. It would be great to see a top... Always makes for a good end of a competition. It does, doesn't it? Oh, let's have some fingers crossed here. This is a big sequence, though, and I think he's in... Such a bad hold. Oh, how's he still on? No, he's got to go back, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
He wanted to match it. He changed his mind. And again, smart thinking from Toby Roberts. Oh, and he's standing on the very tiptoes in the edge of that volume, though. This is fine margins. And this is a coordination move to get close to Taisei Homer's score. Needs to go for this jump. Taisei got the plus. Toby's desperately trying to get something back. Can't with that right. He needs to jump. He hasn't spotted it, I don't think. And we know he just needs the plus. He maybe doesn't. Oh. But I think he got it. I think that should be enough for the win. Well, we'll wait and see on that one. I mean, if Kaisei got it, then Toby no, should. I think, yeah, yeah. I would be surprised if he didn't get it. I would be too. So we think that's going to be a goal for Toby. Here's confirmation of it then. Toby Roberts, 36 plus, due to count back, beats Taisei Homa on 36 plus. So Atawan Raku had a problem. 32 plus for him, still on the podium, still a great performance.